Hi. Bonsoir. <laughs> um, we want to uh, talk with uh, you guys about our experience with OpenStack and uh, installation in a financial institution. Uh, we are working for BBBA. Um, this is a well, uh, very big bank, very big, uh, high number of, of uh, customers, a lot of, peop uh, of people working with, uh, a lot of money. Well, really, the money is not uh, ours. <laughs> it's uh, from our customers. Um, well, it's an uh, interesting organization. Um, uh, why a bank uh, hasn't uh, one billion of customers? You know, there is no bank in, in the world uh, which has uh, one billion of customers. Uh, however, Facebook or uh, Apple or other digital companies has one billion of customers of uh, 500 million or so, uh, but banks no. Why? Because we we can't. It's a problem with uh, infra uh, infrastructure. The uh, infrastructure uh, which banks are using right now is n uh, not a scale. Not only on the sense of uh, physical constraints, but the uh, business model behind that. Uh, uh, behind our business do doesn't support uh, that uh, scale. Um, in consequence, we have a mission from God, uh, as you know. Um, um, everybody knows the um, uh, films of uh, Blue Brothers, yes? Yeah. <laughs> well, we have the same uh, mission. We we have to save our company because there are a lot of digital companies taking our place. Uh, for example, Apple or Google. Um, we have to protect uh, our developers, giving them better infrastructure, better um, means in order to de develop application. Applications are the means we are giving value to, uh, to our customers. Um, in our vision, we need a self-provision infrastructure. We need an infinite, infinite uh, es scalable infrastructure to, um, with a, mm, in an active, uh, active uh, configuration with uh, a hybrid da data model uh, Distributing, distributing um, private and public data, both between uh, a hybrid infrastructure and public and uh, private cloud, and having a programmable infrastructure. In that sense, uh, traditional uh, SETA is not the uh, evil third, it's the uh, IBM mainframe. Um, in, in that sense, it, mm, that infrastructure it has a lot of physical constraints, but it's more important the uh, business model uh, constraints. And we have to move our operation to better infrastructure, private cloud based on, on OpenStack and both uh, pre uh, public cloud. With a programmable infrastructure, we can build a better, better uh, uh, application development uh, life cycle, including n not only the uh, code, um, uh, including the um, infrastructure definition too, and using that life cycle to develop, test, and um, go to production uh, or review maintenance uh, both the uh, uh, application code and infrastructure code. You have the same life cycle for both uh, things. But 
for this, you need a, a, a programmable infrastructure. In our plan is to, to have first a private cloud using um, OpenStack. Uh, in fact, we are in a couple of weeks, we will have that infrastructure uh, in production with a real uh, application, real banking application. And uh, next year, we will have the another instance of the, uh, private cloud in, in Mexico. We'll, we'll have our operations, our data center, corporate data center, in both in Madrid and, and Mexico. Um, well, uh Hi. Good afternoon, everyone. Today, I'm talking about how we design and build our OpenStack private cloud. But first of all, I'd like to mention the goals we have with the project. First of all, is to mm, provide uh, the digital bank with a private cloud infrastructure uh, similar to Amazon or Google in order to, to work towards the cloud, to, to do the same thing we are doing with Amazon or Google, but in, on, in our internal network, in our, in our internal cloud. The second one is to promote a cultural change within the within the uh, the bank. We like to move from different groups, uh, for example, security, uh, communication, networking, that works as different silos for each other with a lot of bureaucracy, with um, lack of communication, to small projects managed by small or medium groups with different roles that uh, start evolve, finish, and maintain the project. The third one is to automate everything. This is to automate virtual machine lifecycle, uh, to automate application deployment, security, network, um, almost everything that you can automate. And finally, uh, to have the possibility of deploying application in a multi-cloud way. So we have some products in which we are using the services from Amazon or Google. And how do we use it? We use it via dashboard, via SDK, but mostly via API. We are using also uh, continuous delivery tools like uh, Jenkins or, or Atlassian Bamboo and cross-cloud libraries like uh, Fog or, or G-Clouds. So why OpenStack? Because this is the product that give us the possibility of realizing of our goals. Uh, also because it's huge community, not only members, but also companies. Uh, it's maturity and the innovation in parallel, the interoperability, and also the flexibility that it gives us to change different solutions within the same underlying technology. And uh, why Red Hat? Because, oh, I, I forgot to say that we are starting with an uh, Ice House uh, release. We have tested some releases and we, we are starting with Ice House. And why Red Hat? We uh, work with different uh, providers and they give us not only a simple OpenStack installation, they give us their expertise and also some other products to work with uh, OpenStack and to make our life easier. And um, how are we planning to use it? Well, uh, I'll mention three topics. The first of all is continuous delivery. The second one is agile methodology. And the third one is DevOps methodology, or sec DevOps in this case, because we want to mix people from security to the team I told earlier. We are planning to give each project or team with a tenant and the possibility to link their tenant with the continuous deployment tool and also the possibility to link this, their tenant to uh, another cloud. So the tenant will have certain capacity, and therefore they can work in a, they can move to the cloud. So OpenStack, there we go. We have a couple of environments here, pre-production and production. The idea is simple here. It's just to test everything in the first one before moving to the second one. About uh, the hardware, we choose HP, and uh, just to say that we have different nodes for different things. I mean, there's, for example, the cloud controller or compute nodes or administration nodes, which has more gigabytes of RAM, 
than, for example, Swift. However, Swift has, obviously, more, more disk. And what about Cinder and Glance? Well, here we have several options to <laughs> investigate new technologies uh, such as uh, ClusterFS or, or ZEP, to choose a well-known provider or a mixture between both. We have decided to start with uh, NetApp because our background with them, because they are in the because why they are in the community, they have some plugins for for OpenStack, and also because we have found some features that we haven't found in other in other cases. For example, they have a very good cloning uh, solution, very good uh, snapshotting solution. They have the the duplication, in where uh, you can deploy, for example, 20 virtual machines without having to copy 20 times the same image to the compute nodes, or uh, the storage tiering, in which you can classify the, the storage in, in uh, several parts. For example, bronze, gold, and, and silver type of storage. So OpenStack, there we go. How we deploy the infrastructure? We use for that Foreman plus Puppet. We, found the, we use the version style path, which is the OpenStack installer plugin for the Foreman. Here in the Foreman, we have defined several uh, host groups, once per OpenStack component. And in these host groups, we can uh, customize uh, adding some Puppet modules. So therefore, we have the whole OpenStack um, services with a, puppet mo with a Puppet module. And we can uh, change their configuration in a centralized way. Here is an example of some classes, some Puppet uh, modules and classes. And uh, also, we have uh, developed on our own another, another modules, not for OpenStack services, but also for uh, another services that we are using in the installation, like security services or and so on. Uh, people from Red Hat have helped us to, to do this, this task in, in a complete way. So OpenStack, technical details. Well, this is not very technical, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, I wouldn't know. The we, have, we want to, to uh, uh, open the access to our OpenStack to the internet, not only Horizon but also the public, uh, the, the APIs. So that's why we have here a couple of routers in HI with uh, different uh, internet connection with different providers, as we usually do in the bank. And then the big blue cloud. So here, the entry point of our OpenStack is the firewall on top, where there is installed an IPS to analyze traffic. The firewall has access to the DMZ uh, subnet, um, in where public uh, um, components will be placed. Also to a router, which function will be explained later. And then the router has access to the OpenStack management soft, uh, so, uh, network, which is the main network here. And um, I will explain later also. And here there are two other networks. This one the service subnet, in where we have placed DNS and NTP, is used to install the uh, OpenStack component. Here, at the bottom, we have the BBBA internal management subnet. And why? Because here we can connect our OpenStack platform to the BBBA, to our data center, via this firewall. And uh, here, we some uh, uh, management components and security components will be placed. Uh, for example, here we have a color, uh, a color uh, code. The uh, green, green one uh, is belongs to security. People from say the security group wanting to uh, collect logs from the entire infrastructure and also to collect uh, network traffic. Then they have also another component with security staff that they are researching right now in order to, to make the infrastructure more secure. Then we have the yellow one, which belongs to management, mostly to the system administrator group. Here we have a couple of nodes with Red Hat Enterprise Virtualization, from which we manage 
the complete uh, the entire infrastructure. Uh, this is connected to the NFS storage via this other network. And as you can see, there are also an ICOs, virtual machine, and a foreman, as I explained later. Here, almost every component is virtualized. There is no uh, physical node now. And about the question, why to put DNS and NTP here in a service subnet and not here in the BBVA internal uh, network? Because we don't, uh, we don't want to, to have traffic from the management OpenStack subnet to the BBVA internal subnet. We only want to, from, from this, to access here, collect logs or traffic or whatever, and no more. It's kind of a security reason. Well, here we have Swift. The color code, the green one, belongs to, to the OpenStack components. Swift uses another subnet in order to perform the triple object copy. And this is the first node we have in bar method, I mean, not virtualized. About glance and, and cinder, as I told you before, here we have the NFS storage cabin, which is connected, apart from the Red Hat Enterprise virtualization node, to the m management open stack. So here is the, the way. OK, let's see the, the DM set. Here, when a request comes to our private cloud, it passes through the firewall and reach the load balancer. The load balancer just do load balancing. It's OK. <laughs> and uh, then pass the request to the WAF. And if it's OK, pass the request to the horizon. And what, what happens when the, there is an API call? API call? Uh, the WAF passes the, the uh, request directly to the load balancer of the cloud controller. Obviously, when the request in the previous example reach horizon, then goes to the load balancer. So as we uh, open our private cloud to the internet, we have to take some security, uh, some security uh, risks. And uh, we don't want to, uh, to have attack. We want to prevent attacker from reaching our internal network. So that's why we have uh, the WAF in here, the IPS, and, and so on. About the cloud controller, OK, I, m I forgot to mention that the horizon is isolated. It's not within the cloud control controller, but for the same reason. If someone can attack the horizon, maybe then uh, they cannot reach the internal network. And the APIs are within the cloud controller. We have installed it in three nodes. And uh, because this was a Red Hat recommendation for HA and also for some components on OpenStack that needed an uh, odd number of, uh, of services, and uh, we thought that three is a good, is a good number. Uh, we also have MySQL and RabbitMQ isolated. Uh, we got, could have put it these, these uh, services within the cloud controller, but we have to, we'd like to, to uh, manage it manage them in a different way. They are installed in um, cluster mode with Peacemaker in a couple of, uh, of virtual machines. And here appears the Nova Compute nodes. They are, they are also um, physical. And here is where we, can, we are going to deploy the virtual machines. Um, the virtual machines we are, we are deploying, uh, copying the Amazon EC2 format, will have uh, an ephemeral disk, 8 gigabyte. This disk is placed in the same physical node that the Nova Compute, because this is cheaper and, and also this is faster. If uh, the people that manage the virtual machines want more, more disk, they have to ask for them to the NFS storage. And hey, what about Neutron? Here is something missed. So I let the floor to my colleague, Danny, which, uh, who will explain the default. Thank you. Hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Danny. And I'm going to talk about uh, the integration of uh, NUAS BSP in our OpenStack deployment at BBVA. Uh, I will be fast. 
uh, because we haven't uh, too much time. But anyway, I have very interesting and useful for you. Um, go with the first point. Uh, uh, what's the reason that uh, we choose to to use a SDN solution different than standard uh, neutron approach? Uh, well, from innovation team, uh, as my colleagues explained before, uh, we was working automation uh, tools, uh, a fast way to deploy, and it's a requirement of uh, for for the future to to do this that way, but. Remember, we are a bank, <laughs> and our security team uh, used to apply uh, strong security uh, policies to the traditional IT. And now, with the cloud environment, they, they feel so afraid. Um, for they, uh, they feel that everything is ephemeral, everything is dynamic. Um, in the deployment way that we start to work, um, sometimes start to be outside the, the security business flows. And they request for us some kind of, of solution to, to take control over the deployment. Uh, by the business request, we need to, to have a solution that uh, is possible to scale um, without too much headache <laughs> and geographically distributed uh, and between remote uh, data center. Um, in in from innovation team, uh, we had in in our roadmap of of technologies to to introduce in the organization the SDN solution. Uh, we felt that uh, the project of deploy a open stack uh, in the organization is a good point to start with this technology. Um, when we decide to to go with a SDN solution, we was uh, we were testing uh, some some solution. And we decide to, to use uh, NUAS BSP. Uh, well, why NUAS? <laughs> uh, NUAS uh, is a SDN solution that one of the more powerful uh, features for us is the uh, abstraction that they call uh, domain templates that allow uh, our security team to define the, um, the network security uh, topologies. Uh, and, and by this reason, they, this uh, request I'll, I'll solve. Um, have a, a user uh, role system that allow to isolate the, the administration uh, task that inside the organization there are uh, like um, different uh, technical teams and we need to isolate uh, the tasks in the same tool. Uh, moreover, automation, uh, when a VM, VM is a start in, with NUAS, uh, automatically is assigned to a subnet and, and security policies that are defined before the um, Security team is automatically applied to this to this VM. Uh, has a, a rich northbound API. Uh, uh, have uh, the distributing distributed uh, routing and switching uh, is very powerful and um, now. Uh, re uh, eliminate the single point of failure of neutron network node and bring us the, the possibility to grow up uh, with layer three communication. And it's a hypervisor agnostic, that's important. And the integration is so easy uh, via Neutron plugin. And we start uh, to, um, uh, to explain more in details in the, same, the, the next slides. Uh, the upper stack, uh, the NUAS uh, integration in OpenStack. Okay. Uh, to explain the OpenStack, uh, the NUAS uh, BSP integration in our OpenStack, uh, I need to explain uh, the components of NUAS solution. Uh, the main components are the virtualized services directory, the virtualized services controller, 
and the virt and virtual routing and switching. Also, an additional component is the virtualized uh, services gateway that we needed to communicate the VMs with the internet. Here, uh, you can see the uh, Nuance uh, component in blue and the rest of uh, OpenStack component uh, in gray. Uh, we'll start uh, to, to talking about uh, the BSD. The BSD is, the, is where we define uh, the policies and, and the network and uh, have uh, a REST API and a web interface where we define all this. Um, and XMPP is used uh, to, to exchange uh, the information with the BSC and, and BSG. The BSC, the Virtualized uh, Services Controller, uh, play the role of SDN controller um, and send, send the, um, a chain the, the, the configuration to the compute nodes uh, via open flow entries and use uh, MPBGP to uh, exchange information with the rest of BSC and BSG. Uh, the BRS is the, the software agent that is uh, installed in the hypervisor and, and create uh, the overlay data plane uh, with VXLAN uh, protocol. And, and they keep uh, working without the BSC uh, running. That is what I said before, that is, is a good point. And the BSG uh, is a element, is a physical element that uh, understand VXLAN and translate to to VLAN. And in our configuration, we use for um, uh, floating IPs approach to connect the the VMs with the internet. Well, and this is uh, the components of Nuage and the integration, as I said before is via Neutron plugin. Uh, it's installed in, in our control, in cloud controllers, um, and talk directly with the BSD via REST API. Well, uh, more about the integration. Uh, NUAS have some kind of abstraction that uh, we need to map with the OpenStack abstraction. There are a lot of options and by the business need, we decide uh, to, to map the, the domain with a, a project in OpenStack. And, and we uh, made a customization of Horizon to automatically, in the, in the time that we create a new project inside the Horizon uh, to OpenStack, directly uh, instantiate a domain template. Uh, as you can see here, we add uh, a new tab in the Horizon menu when you create a new uh, project. And here is a, a scroll where you can see uh, the domain templates that the end user could instantiate. And the next screenshot is uh, from the BSD dashboard where you can see the, the domain template definition. As you can see here, it's a, a domain template definition. And from the horizon, we can instantiate uh, in the same time that we create a new project. OK, uh, this is all is about uh, the integration of NUAS uh, with OpenStack. And we would like to, to talk uh, a couple of features that for us are important uh, for our decision and for the use of of OpenStack with SDN. And one of these is the, the domain templates used. As you can see in the picture, it's a screenshot of the BSD dashboard where you can see a domain instantiated. And here is a green check that uh, told us that uh, the ACLs 
are forced from the domain templates. When a end user instantiate a, a new project, uh, the ACLs, as you can see here, are a force from the security team. And this is a uh, so important feature for our security team because this way they have the control at deployment time. And it's very easy to, to define the domain templates, as you can see in the, in the screenshot. Uh, there are uh, objects to define the flow, and inside each flow, you can define the, the allowed ports. For, uh, for example, here you can see that we allow HTTP and HTTPS for any to a zone. In a zone is another level of abstraction where you can uh, create uh, subnets. And in the bottom, you can see the uh, like uh, open flow style uh, ACLs that are applied. Other uh, good uh, feature that uh, NUAS um, bring us is the service chaining. The service chaining allow us when we publish uh, some TCP port and uh, redirect the traffic for a different path that is uh, easy way to um, insert a new element for analytic or IDS or some kind of stuff for security. And um, that's all for integration and was I pass the, the floor to Chema to continue. <laughs> Thank you. Well, um, I want to share with you uh, some experiences and uh, takeaways for yeah. in our project. Uh, uh, you, uh, you can s see that that uh, takeaways are more related with uh, cultural change and organizational change because, uh, in fact, um, technical or ar architectural questions are very uh, has a, uh, have a very good solution in collaboration with mm, different companies, uh, Red Hat or Nuas Networks or other companies uh, intervening in in this project. First is. Um, we have to organize um, your development in order to consume, the, in a different way, infrastructure. Because you can't program that uh, that uh, infrastructure. It's completely different to the uh, uh, current approach in, in companies. N normally, in companies, you have uh, people working in infrastructure, building uh, uh, storage or systems, etc., um, take more than a week or two weeks to have a, a server, a virtual machine, in order to, to have or to do some test. Um, first, uh, you have to change your organization, your way to, mm, to consume in, in infrastructure. And the second is uh, the organization of the project itself. Um, our organization is uh, very, very complicated. It's, mm, well, I think your companies are more simple, isn't it? <laughs> no, <laughs> <laughs> really not. Uh, big companies are complicated because they are big. And, uh, there are a lot of people, a lot of politics. Um, it's fundamental in that kind of project. Uh, in OpenStack uh, projects to, to have one team working together, uh, physically, physically together, if it is possible. Um, uh, taking people from security, uh, networking, or systems, um, uh, focus them on the final result of the, of the project. The, um, our goal is to, uh, was to, to have an infrastructure uh, working in six months um, from from scratch, and we win. It's it is fantastic because the uh, team is one team. Uh, we uh, we work very well with uh, this approach. Well, next steps. Well, we are thinking the same things you are thinking about. <laughs> Uh, open stack next versions hope rolling up uh, to the next version uh, 
we are right now in nice house version. I don't know if we are going to Juno or uh, we are going to Kilo, but uh, our goal is to uh, change the version one uh, one time per year. It's a good uh, and it's a very very different goal to the to other infrastructure where. Uh, probably the same version is running for years. Um, Docker's theft and other approach to the storage, uh, compute, different compute no nodes, different hardware. Well, yeah. <coughs> we have uh, a lot of things in the in our roadmap. Um, this is uh, our team. Um, I have. I want to pay tri tribute to people uh, who come uh, came here um, well th there is uh, people here who is here like Philip <laughs> or Jonas um, it, it's a fantastic team uh, we build a fantastic um, um, uh, group of uh, people working together and uh, I, at the end uh, I think it's the best question related with that, uh, with this project. Um, well, uh, I, um, we are looking for uh, people who knows about OpenStack. Uh, well, if you want to send me a <laughs> resume, well, it's, uh, I am open. You can uh, find me. OK. Um, finally, remember. We are uh, uh, have have a mission from God. <laughs> okay. Questions? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yes, it's a very good question. Uh, starting the project, we made a business case, <coughs> analyzing every cost in intervening in the project. Um, uh, discovered that our cost over time uh, are converging with the uh, Amazon cost, more or less. Uh, cost we, we see, of course. Um, this validate our uh, our project from a cost per perspective, um, but most important thing for us is to integrate agility and uh, giving developers uh, new tools in order to develop application uh, in a more agile, more s with more speed. It's more m m the most important thing is uh, is that um, uh, the the cultural change is so important. We, ha we want to introduce, we are uh, at the end an um, innovation team. Uh, we want to introduce not only the technology, but the, the cultural change, change the uh, minds of uh, people who are working in traditional IT. Um, uh, if we have around uh, 6,000 people working in, in IT, uh, mostly in Spain and other countries, um, if every single mm, person in that organization cha changes uh, his mind, well, it will be fantastic because the pow uh, uh, power will, uh, will be virtually uh, infinite. Um, well, this, this is our vision. Yeah. Can you talk a bit about scale? How many hosts do you have? Yeah, that, uh, it's, uh, our installation is right now uh, small because we have around 30 uh, servers from HP. Um, the, the question is, uh, at the end, um, we want to check the uh, feasibility of, uh, of uh, doing that uh, thing in, uh, inside. And growing the, that infrastructure is very easy. Um, uh, we dimension our private cloud for um, a set of, of uh, projects. Uh, inside the uh, innovation area, but we are planning to extend 
uh, offering the, that offering for other areas. If uh, we will matter that uh, the consumption and uh, making trends and plan, uh, plans uh, grown grows up uh, infrastructure when it needed. Um, uh, yeah, we start with uh, one that data center, but uh, next year we will have another instance of uh, that cloud in Mexico. We have uh, two couples of big data centers, uh, two in Madrid and two in near to Me Mexico City. Well, uh, not right now. We, we integrate uh, are integrating uh, sale matter. Are you referring to sale matter or other other? Uh well, uh, we have different reporting capabilities. Something, uh, some, some one related with security. Uh, we have a powerful uh, platform of security, uh, taking data from WAF, uh, web uh, application firewall, uh, learning, self, uh, we are introducing a self-learning web application, application firewall in order to uh, feedback uh, the front end of, uh, of the APA. Um, Taking every information about the logs of the of the different components, um, analyzing in a, a fraud platform, um, <coughs> using cellometer, we can have uh, information about different components of of uh, the uh, our installation. The load balancer are a virtual machine, and it's used only for high ability of the OpenStack component. Uh, is that question? And the firewall in the, at the top and at the bottom? Uh, no, there are physical uh, appliance. But th that firewall are mm, uh, have um, roles predefined. Pre uh, it's not dynam dynamic. Dynamic roles are applied by uh, Neutron by uh, Nuance Network Solution. Not now, b because our installation is so small. Small, um, we only need uh, authentication for mm, DevOps people. Um, DevOps people are are a very small amount of, of people. Are, it's not necessary right now. <coughs> Probably if the uh, platform grounds uh, up, we, we will need some uh, authentic uh, authentication system integrated with uh, our LDAP or something like that. Uh, both. Uh, we want to, well, for us it's so important to have a platform in production with real application and to demonstrate that that concept using OpenStack in a big company is uh, feasible. Um, uh, we the first intention is to, to provide uh, developers some platform uh, where they can uh, set up virtual machines and uh, immediately, uh, but in, in second hand, we, we want to put um, production production pro uh, projects. Uh, in fact, the I think in, in, in December or maybe in January, well, depend, it depends on the uh, production calendar uh, schedule. Uh, we want uh, we we will have a, an application from um, our uh, internet. 
uh, online service, banking and online service in Spain, uh, running in, in our infrastructure. It, uh, one part of, uh, of that uh, project. Um, I, I think it's very good because we demonstrate that OpenStack is uh, so powerful. Yeah. Do you think in the long run you would keep the operational control and evolution within DBPA, or is that something that you would also consider to give to a third party? <laughs> so there are all these yeah. days, it's a lot of work, and after, yeah. after the fun it's... Yeah. Mm, well, uh, I think it's... Uh, mm, our vision is to separate uh, providing uh, infrastructure to application. Right now, in, uh, classical uh, companies are mixed. You, you have silos, and you have the applic risk application, and you have a specific uh, people running an infrastructure, servers, storage, uh, operation, etc., for that application. Um, our vision is to separate infrastructure and have a common well, with uh, specialized services, but a common infrastructure, um, programmatic inf infrastructure, and uh, uh, all those people mm, uh, can be not uh, so uh, an amount uh, how we, we have uh, right now. We have a lot, a lot of people uh, doing this. Um, the other people will, will be DevOps people working in, in applications. Um, I don't know. I, I think uh, it is a, a very good approach to, to have mm, people integrated because normally are more uh, engaged with the projects. It's our particular vision. What, uh, can you repeat? Uh, To external developers, yeah, yes, absolutely, yes. Uh, we want to um, offer in um, well in different ways. I, I am, uh, let's say, uh, official projects where people devoting to to that project and with a, a specific planning, and to give the developers some new tools in order to check new technologies. Uh, I don't know, for example, a uh, new version of, of Serum, uh, uh, Serum MQ. The developer wants to, to check it and uh, to, to uh, have the ability of um, set up a new virtual machine in seconds and test the, that uh, new thing is very um, convenient for us. Ah, okay, I understand. Yes. Mm, when we start the project, we uh, we think in the uh, full stack, but uh, at the end we prefer uh, concentrate uh, over the first thing that is infrastructure as a, as a service. Probably we will we will have Cloud Foundry or some pass uh, in place. Uh, I don't know if uh, next year. It depends on necessity. For example, in a big data area. We are testing Cloud Foundry right now over other infrastructure. Um, if it's uh, successful, we will uh, put in place, but I don't know right now. Yes? I'm sorry, it's 5.20. I have a session. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's now a question. Sorry. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay.